Good morning, and um, thank you for being connected to our online conferences today. This year, for the first time, we've created a series of conferences in English for you, our international audience, involving some of the best professionals working here in France and the productions. I would like to thank you and to thank them for being here today and sharing their experience. Despite the pandemic, the past two years, 2020 and 2021, have been really good for foreign shootings in France, with a lot of major productions. For example, The French Dispatch by Wes Anderson, Stillwater by Tom McCarthy, both of which were in official selection at the Cannes Festival, but also The Last Duel by Ridley Scott and The Serpent Queen, a TV series shot in the Chateau de la Loire, Valley and in uh, Provence Studios next to Marseille. Emily in Paris, season two, and The Grey Man by Anthony and Joe Russo, and of course, many more. So as a CEO of the CNC, the French Film Agency, I would like to take the opportunity of these conferences here at Paris Images to convey once again this very clear message to all of the producers around the world France is a deeply welcoming land for artists and producers. It is a hub in TV and movies shootings. Moreover, we are strengthening now our tools to play an essential part in the upcoming years. You know that France is one of the leading destinations for international movie and TV productions, but my goal now is to make it number one within the next three years. Let me tell you how in four points. The expertise, the easy entrance, a strong tax rebate, and technical facilities. So, first, the expertise. You know that we've always had a strong expertise in shootings. But what is also interesting now is that we've really well adapted to shooting during the pandemic. And unfortunately, this will probably be, still be useful in the following months. We've implemented specific measures very early in the crisis. In France, all shootings have restarted as early as May 2020 and have never been interrupted ever since. We are the only country that did it. This performance relies on a government-funded uh, COVID insurance fund that covers for COVID risk. It has been absolutely critical in keeping uh, our professionals trained and ready for international productions. Second, easy entrance on the French territory. We have created a fast track procedure for entrance of movie and TV professionals in France. It has allowed over 250 crews to enter France in 2021 and work here despite the restrictions. You can do it uh, easily online, it's really fast. You just upload your documents, we process a request and you get a validation within 24 to 48 hours. Try it, it's very easy. Third, our strong tax rebate. It now covers up to 40% of expenses. This new rate applies to all expenses provided you spend over 2 million euros in VFX. If less, it's 30% on all expenses. In 2021, 62 international projects got an approval, which is over the double spending compared to 2019 before the pandemic. For the tax rebate as well, the procedure is really simple and fast, and the CNC is your one-stop shop for all this. Fourth, a strong investment in creative talents and technical industries, so we can have some of the best studios, VFX, animation and training in the world. Let me elaborate a bit more on that point. Film France, the French Film Commission, is now part of the CNC and we have strengthened our actions to make France more attractive and visible. So, hopefully, you will hear from us again online and in the USA since we'll have two people permanently working there, which had never been done before. And in Paris, a highly qualified team is here to provide free assistance and information in all legal, financing and practical aspects. We rely also on a strong network of local film commissions in the different regions in France and our diplomatic network all around the world to help you. Please do not hesitate to come to us with your project, even at early stages. Last year, 
We have invested quite a lot in modernizing our studios and VFX capacities. 20 projects have received a grant that will spark a new generation of studios for international productions. Several of them will be ready as soon as 2022 and will develop new sets, additional backlots, LED vir virtual set capacities, improving green production in France and efforts to lower carbon footprint. And now, as part of the France 2030, the government investment plan announced by French President Emmanuel Macron, France will invest 600 million euros over the next five years to help the financing of some of the best studios and training in the world for live action, animation and digital production like VFX and VR. This will bring an additional 2 to 3 billion euros total investment, which is quite huge. This reflects the ambition we have and the effort we are committed to do to make friend the top destination for international productions, the land of opportunity for TV and movie industry. We have a strong expertise. We have developed it over the years. And these additional measures will provide the top talents and the top facilities for your projects. So once again, bienvenue in France. Thank you and enjoy the panels.